76 video guys this time we're finding out how many caps can be made from killing a glowing level 35 behemoth near Solomon's Pond I have told myself and found that I can kill 20 of these guys per hour 20 plus should I say um, some of you guys will kill even more but anyway Let's jump servers and check this guy out. Okay guys, so first things first, you're going to want to hop over to Solomon's Pond, which um, adds to the uh, server hopping. Last time I didn't have to do that, I started at Solomon's Pond, so when you kill the behemoth, you want to be killing him near Solomon's Pond, or at least logging off near Solomon's Pond, so that you're not loading up in this area. Okay, so you're going to be loading in just south of um, the Solomon's Pond sign. It's not that pond we want to go to. We do want to be traveling south down this path, all the way down to um, a small lake. It's got a blue sort of water pump or something by it. And this is where we're going to find our behemoth, hopefully. There he is in the water. Now, he won't um come alive until you get fairly close to it or just shoot it with a bullet obviously headshots are the ways to go with this guy you're gonna get bigger head bigger uh, damage from his head i'm uh built for that so that's what we'll be going for as you can see he's already down to nearly half health and i haven't really, really touched him for some reason, sometimes they have um, more health than normal. Don't know why that is, but yeah. As you can see, there's 532 um, XP to be gained there as well. So we have got ourselves a plan. Okay, so got the plan. Whatever that's worth, it's irrelevant because you're not always going to get it. But you're going to get 22 caps. Um bullets and arrows and such so you can sell them i'd just say sell them a cap a piece you'll always find a seller for ammo um you're gonna get waste uh items that you can scrap for materials and you're also gonna get four or five pieces of armor and weaponry and these are decent armors and weaponry you can upgrade them if you want to um it's up to you I would suggest taking them and scrapping them uh, if you've got a camp built nearby obviously that's great if not you're gonna have to uh, hop over there now and again but um, you can also sell them to a vendor so if we take all this and hop over to a vendor we'll find out how much we're gonna make okay guys so we're at a vendor we got our sharpshooters assault rifle which can be sold for 24 caps so we'll do that and then we'll go over to the apparel that we got we got a combat armor right leg that's six caps so that's 30 caps and then you got a few threes and twos so you're looking at let's just say 40 caps to um help us out shall we 40 caps so you're looking at 40 caps for weaponry and anything that you loot. Um, 20 caps you loot anyway, so that's 60. And then we've got um, all the ammo that we can draw. I mean, that wasn't the greatest drop, but we did get that um, plan somewhere. We definitely got a plan. Did I not loot it now? Okay then. Um, we definitely got a plan though, so there's plans to be found, service, there's sir. all sorts to be found, we know that. Uh, ultra, yeah, there's the plan, ultra light build metal armor chest, I don't know how much that thing's worth, it says 500 value on there, so it's probably worth a bit. So you could be looking at 2,000 caps minimum, I would say, per hour, and obviously if you get some good drops, a lot more. So guys, that is pretty much it for the Behemoth um, Guide on Caps. I did mean to mention that you're going to get 
a good portion of XP, you're probably going to get 10,000, actually you make it 12,000 plus an hour. So this definitely isn't um, a bad little way to make caps and XP at the same time. Um, I will be uploading more guides, so please subscribe and like the videos. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks for watching, see you later.